Yeah, it's good to get a win tonight against uh, obviously a much improved main team um, that has a different look um, and just a different aura about them uh, that they came in hungry, well coached. Obviously, they already have more wins than they've won uh, in any of the previous three years. So we knew going into the game that it was a different team. It would be a tough challenge for us. Um, the crowd, I think, is starting to get a little better. Um, I beg and implore. Uh, more fans to come. I'd love to develop more of a home court advantage. Um, these guys got a lot of work to do, but I do think they've earned that. Um, they're, they're off to the best start in Division One uh, history, and uh, the more uh, fans come out, the more they appreciate it, and we, and we really feed off that energy. So hopefully that continues uh, to improve. Um, and cre credit to, to Maine. I mean, they kept coming at us. They, they didn't give up. Uh, changed their defenses, tried to keep us off uh, rhythm. Did a pretty good job of that. Um, we got to get more contributions, okay? Uh, these guys were great. That's why they're here with me. It was good to see Connor get his rhythm uh, string together. I think five or six threes. We know he's been capable of that. Um, and, and Everett had a good all-around game on both sides of the court. But we got to get more contributions. If we're going to be as good as we're going to be, uh, we got to get five or six guys in double digits. Uh, that wasn't there tonight. So, again, pleased with the win against uh, a very good main team. Um, and we got to keep getting better, despite you know the outcome. Uh, or, I'm sorry, our our record, and whether it's a win or a loss, uh, we have to buy into in self improvement and, and, and uh, continue to defend and get better on both sides of the ball. Timely rebound right at the end off a of free throw from Max, and timeliness has seemed to have been key in the last few games here. Um, just talk about the efficiency down the stretch in this team and helping you know with the record that you guys have. Yeah, timely or lucky, um, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be either. I'd like to be a little bit more consistent and solid so it doesn't get to that point. That That's the goal. Uh, we're finding ways to win games, but I think we're putting ourselves in situations that we can possibly avoid. Um, you know, having to be timely or having to be lucky at the end because um, that doesn't always work. Um, start a conference play with two gritty, you know, really close games. Is that, you know, just how you expected it to be? I didn't know what to expect, uh, to be honest. I mean, this league's a little different every year. It seems to get better every year. Uh, I certainly know that, that there's no easy easy game, uh, no, no easy night. Uh, that I know already. I think the whole league has learned that in the first week. So... Uh, but each team's a little different, uh, actually, especially now in, in the land of transfers. These teams change uh, drastically from year to year. So until you face them, you don't entirely know what to ex expect. Uh, but clearly, Maine's, Maine's a better team than they've been in the past, for sure. Um, Everett, early in the season, you know, the team didn't necessarily face a, a ton of pressure or really close games, but really had to show that resiliency and stay locked in um, in these last few games here. Um, what do you think is helping the team, you know, pull things out down the stretch? say we're, we're definitely an experienced team so a lot of us this is our fourth fifth year so it's not much we haven't seen we trust our coaches and we trust each other so we know when it gets tight we gotta lean on each other just trust what we work on every day in practice and I think that's really helped us when we've gotten in uh, some tough situations. Is there anything that surprised you here at the start of conference play? No not really it's my second year in this conference so it's been unpredictable so we just have to be ready play our best basketball just worry about what we need to do every day, and I think we'll be fine. Connor, five for five um, from three-point territory in the first half there. What what was working for you tonight? Uh, I don't know. I think I was just – it was my turn to just get the open shots. Like, sometimes you just get left open sometimes. And uh, I think my teammates just found me. I think it was more that. Than anything else. Uh, Yende had the assist on, on all five of those. Just talk about your connection with him and, and, and um, seeing that, that open man. Yeah, Yende, that's my, that's my boy. Uh, we got a great relationship off the court, so I think that just transfers onto on the court. Um, and it's like that with the whole team. Like everybody got a great relationship. So and they, he's a good point guard, and he, he's going to find you when you're hopeless. And Coach, lastly, just had to go down the road now, heading to Albany um, and over the weekend here. So what will we work on between now and then? Yeah, I, I guess before that, I'd just say, you know, I, I was, I'll commend Connor as well. He hit five first half threes. Um, a lot of people would say, well, why didn't you get him more shots in the second half? And, Obviously, I would love for him to get more open looks. It's just not always that easy, and the other team makes adjustments. But he doesn't force anything. Connor always makes the right play. Uh, if you leave him open, he's capable of stringing a lot of threes together. Uh, if you do something differently, he's going to make the right play. So I was happy about that. We have a short turnaround. Uh, Albany's uh, a good team. We're at their place. 
Uh, I don't know a ton about them, to be honest, because we've been prepping for Maine, so we'll have to turn a uh, page of the book pretty fast here and, and get up to date on them and get them scouted and uh, get back to work, see if we can get another good road win. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you.